Can you imagine how many people must be in that audience there? Wow. Wow. That stadium is packed. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brandy back at it again. And you guys have been requesting a lot of throwback stuff in my comments recently after I did... I just reacted to the Beatles. Not that the Beatles one was in throwback because it's actually a new song but we reacted to some of that and then we did a couple of other ones we did some deep purple and such so you guys seem like you want like throw and my throwbacks i mean like throwing it back to before i was alive so we've got more of that coming up uh so i'm gonna be checking out a new artist here on the channel that i've never checked out before so we're checking out dire straits and this song is with sting as well so i don't think i'm familiar with this song it does not ring a bell to me but i also there are so many songs that my parents used to play when i was growing up that would just be on in the background and I didn't necessarily know who sang them or what the song was called. So there's a lot of songs that I definitely recognize from this time period of like the 70s and the 80s, but I couldn't tell you who sang it or what it's called. So I might know this, I might not, I don't know, but I figured I would just go into it blind so I can kind of experience it with all of you guys. And uh, we're going to do that. But before we get into it, fellow reminder, I put up new videos here every single week at 4 p.m. Eastern. So if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. It helps out so incredibly much. And I stream over on Twitch Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m. So if you ever want to come through when I'm live, that's the place to do it. And all of my links are down in the description below if you want to check me out across my other socials. But let's get into today's video, which is the song Money for Nothing by Dire Straits and Sting. Oh, it's a live performance. Okay. This is an 85, so I was born in 94. So this is a whopping nine years before I was even born. I wasn't even a thought yet. This already sounds familiar. Look at their outfits, like. The aesthetic of the, the 80s is just so different.
All right, I'm going to pause for a moment. I do recognize this song. Honestly, I think I might have even heard this version of the two of them singing together because it all is like coming back to me. And I, I definitely recognize my parents playing this song a lot because I know like a good chunk like of the lyrics already. I'm like, ah, oh, I know this. I remember this. The the name Dire Straits, I don't think I could have ever told you that in a million years. That name does not ring a bell in my brain. Uh, so if there's more songs I should listen to from them, let me know down below because the name I'm not familiar with. I might be more familiar with their song Sting. Who doesn't know Sting? That's pretty self-explanatory, but I also thought the way he was dancing here, just like, <laughs> I don't know, it's cracking me up. He's still doing it with his foot. That's his whole dance move. Can you imagine how many people must be in that audience there? Wow. Wow. That stadium is packed. Dude. Every seat in this house, it, like in this damn place, is packed. That's crazy. That's, I, I feel like nowadays you don't get packed like stadiums like that for rock, like for rock bands and 
and metal and things like that. The amount of times that I hear of a stadium selling out for those genres nowadays, I feel like very few and far in between. I, I go to a lot of rock and metal shows and it's big outdoor pavilions or sometimes it's at... Uh, I've been to ones that were in a basketball stadium. So that's a lot smaller of a capacity. This is massive. I feel like rock had such a hold on society in the, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. That, I mean, those eras, I would say like 60s through 80s, such a, an 80s rock metal, all that, had such a hold on society. And that was... The main music, or at least it feels like the 80s definitely got more into pop and, and things of that nature. And then 90s, I feel like it was a split between rock, grunge, metal, and then like R&B was really making a, a stance there. So I feel like in this time, it's, it's so definitive of the people and the culture. It, I, I said this in the previous one where... The rock from that time is just such a standout. And if you look at the rock music that has come out in the last 20 years, in the 2000s, you have pop punk and punk rock and stuff making their mark. But it's it's not... I, I feel like culture as a whole isn't definitive of the music anymore in the rock genre. I feel like if you were to you know, take a group of people and ask them what genre they listen to the most now. It's like bubblegum radio pop stuff or it's TikTok audios. So looking at stuff like this and just seeing the amount of love for this type of music, man, I, I wish that would come back in my, I would say I missed that, but like I wasn't alive for this. So I can't miss something that I never experienced in that, you know, capacity, but that's just crazy. I wish we could have a, you know, Taylor Swift Eras Tour type, you know, level for rock music. That would be, I feel like when we were young, it's kind of, it's kind of trying to do that. So it's coming back. There's still hope. There's still hope. I know I went on a bit of a, a tangent there at the end, but I'm, I'm curious as to what you guys think. What would you say is the music that is most definitive of the times now? If you were to look at the 2010s and 20s, what music genre do you think has the biggest chokehold on society right now? Just out of curiosity, because I feel like it changes every decade a little bit. And it's it's kind of crazy to think about it in a, a large perspective of how it changes over time and what becomes the popular type of music to listen to. So getting to revisit stuff like this, that's probably why I like 60s 70s 80s like rock music and stuff my parents grew me up on it and that i feel like is what transitioned into me liking rock and metal music even if it's current day stuff it all it all coincides eventually you know but that is gonna be it for me as always if you like this please give it a big thumbs up i won't tangent anymore we'll wrap it there this video is long enough but i appreciate you guys being along for the ride and thank you for suggestions like this i would have never grab this song if somebody had not commented in on one of my videos so thank you i really appreciate that please feel free to comment more older stuff down below i love revisiting all of this so thank you as always for being here and i will see you guys in the next video so until then bye fam